Welcome to the second part of this game making tutorial. This time we'll be going through the basic skeleton for our game. So open the main.lua file and here we go. I've cheated a little. I've already written the code that we need for our basic skeleton. The first thing the engine will do when the executable file is double clicked or opened is to run this function. The function called love.load with brackets after it. That means that anything that is written between these two words will be called for. It's called to be called for when you run a function. So if you write some fancy code in here, it will only be run when the game is first started, the second the game is started. Control S. <laughs> the next function uh, could either be update or draw, but let's say it's draw. The draw function paints stuff to the next frame that a game is going to display. The game displays about 24 pictures every second. That's uh, that's the um, the minimum that the, the game has to. Uh, display of frames per second before it will get choppy. To get it really smooth we have to get over 60 frames per second. And uh, that means that we need to call this function here a lot of times per second to be able to get a smooth image. So in this function we'll, we'll just draw stuff for the game like, uh, like models, like uh, squares, text, anything that shall be displayed in the next frame that will be visible to the player. The update function is basically the same as draw. It is run, run as many times as the game can manage. So many hundreds, maybe thousands of times per second. The DT here uh, tells us how long it took between the last time the function was called to the current time that we're in. So, if this ran uh, one millisecond ago last time, and we run it again, the DT will be one millisecond. In the function love.focus, I'll explain this later again. You'll you'll see good examples on how this works. So don't worry. Uh, in love.focus, uh, this function is run when you focus in and out of the game, like this. So when you're doing stuff outside the game, like tabbing out, this value here will show false. It's a bool, or however you call it in English, uh, that will either um, be true or false. So if we, if we go out of the game, the bool will be false, and, and you go in, this function will call and the bool will be true. Very useful for uh, for auto pausing the game and stuff like that. Function love.keypressed is quite obvious. Every time you press a key while inside the game, this function will be called for and the values key will be the the key you just pressed. So for example, if we pressed A, key would be equal to A in a string. That's called a string. Uh, Unicode will be a number, which is the number for that exact key. I don't remember it right now, but it's useful. It's always useful, that's why they added it. And of course the complementary key released, which uh, will be called every time someone releases a key. We also have a, uh, a uh, love.mouse pressed, which also is obvious. But this time we can also read out the X and Y position of the mouse where the position 0, 0 is up in the left corner and the maximum position is down in the right corner. So if you've been, uh, been talking about coordinate systems in uh, math, uh, the origo, the origin of the coordinates, will be up in the left corner. Um, we also have the complementary mouse released with the same uh, values. Button is... Uh, <laughs> L for your left mouse button, right, R for your right mouse button, and 
yeah, I don't remember what scroll was and all that, but uh, they will display a certain text for each button on your uh, mouse. And then we have love.quit, which will, which will be called every time you quit the game, the second before it closes down the game. Um, let's let's add a background color just to do it, just to have some cool stuff in this tutorial. So, since the background color only needs to be set once, if you don't want to be really fancy though, but that's, that's up to you. You, um, we write the function in here. Log.graphics dot set background color to two two five two two five two two five. This is a color code. Uh, the first number in the color code is the value for the amount of red. The second is the green and the blue, or the last. So if we write zero, we want no red in our color. If we want if we uh, type 255, we want a lot of red color. 255 is the maximum value for any type of color in Love 2D. You can write more than this, but it won't help. 255 is max. So if we have a lot of red, green and blue, we will get white. So let's see. Did we get a white background color in our game? Yes, we did. Would you look at that? Let's play around a little. Let's make it red. X that. Open it again. And it's red. Crazy. Let's make it. Uh, oh no. Uh, red plus uh, green. That's yellow, of course. That's yellow. If you say so. And maybe zero of red and a lot of green and blue. Oops. Always be uh, sure to save. Oh! Okay, it's a cool color. Yeah, whatever. So, there we go, white again. So that concludes our second.